Well, how do the chums? Design Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewer verse, No Man's Sky for new players can be a little bit overwhelming. So I figured I'd do a video where you can get caught up and you can actually deep dive into all the updates without asking too many questions inside the community and solving them just by using two sites on the old Tinterweb. So let's jump on over, shall we? And I'll show you what I mean, people. So let's just bring up the Tinterweb behind me here. You know what? Let's take me off the screen and make it a little bit easier to see. So right now, I'm on YouTube. And I've hit on up Hello Games Tube. Now, Hello Games are the maker of No Man's Sky. And they have a couple of playlists. They have one right here called No Man's Sky. Click full playlist. There you go. And then you can look up each of the different updates and watch the actual trailer and find out what they entail. And that way you'll be able to see whether, oh, hold on, that's got some stuff in it that I really like the look of, you know. And then hopefully you can jump on over to another site that I'm going to show you in a moment and do a bit of a deeper dive. It's like there's one here called No Man's Sky Living Ship Trailer. Right, well, let's just hit that and let's just see the trailer, shall we? Now, sadly... A lot of these have got copyrighted music on, so I need to make that a little bit less loud and make it a little bit larger on screen. But inside of this update, the living ship update, we actually got organic ships brought into game and along with it, its own lore, its own story path and how you get your living ship is pretty good fun. To be fair, there's a couple of time gated bits in it because you have to actually grow its internal organs and you have to wait for them to grow, which is pretty pretty cool in itself yeah some people will say not so because i think it's got time gates but it also brought in these spatial anomalies and things that you see inside of space as well like these that you can encounter which is pretty darn awesome too and there's a lot of that that goes on inside of the quest so it is actually an interesting quest line and it's very easy to miss and it's not that intuitive on how you get started on getting your living ship so you probably will Okay, it's great seeing it inside the trailer and see what's on offer inside the trailer. But then how do we actually find out about, well, how do I actually get it? And all that sort of shenanigans. Well, glad you asked. I'm going to show you how to do that now, people. So, so right, if I just hit this, come back out of there. Right, so we know that it's called Living Ship. So if I just copy that, copy, jump on over to search. Now I've searched for No Man's Sky. But if you go down to here, it's a No Man's Sky website. Just click there, put Living Ship, and hit Search. Okay, No Man's Sky Living Ship update. Jump on in, and this brings you up the patch notes from Hello Games themselves and the No Man's Sky official website. I mean, you can go through the release log, but there's no search function inside of the website. I really wish they would put a search box inside of the website to save you having to do it from the Google sort of or Edge screen like I did earlier. But anyway, down inside of the patch notes, you're going to be able to scroll through here. You can rewatch the trailer if you really want to, because it's awesome. But carry on down. It's going to give you ideas on how you go about starting the actual mission. But just to give you a heads up, if you go to Johnny Five, the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, inside of the Spatial Anomaly, where you pick up multiplayer missions and all that sort of shenanigans, there's all the organs you can grow. All you need to do is buy yourself a living egg type thing. And hopefully... It's going to call in the melody of the egg and start the mission. In fact, I might do a playthrough of this, maybe inside of VR. Yeah. Anyway, a new series of missions, Star Birth, will take players through the ancient Corvax experiments that led to the birth of these sentient starships. This is it. This is like the living egg or void egg. You can buy the void egg from the Quick Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. It's got this icon and it's actually called the void egg. Sorry, not living egg. It's called the void egg. Okay. And you're going to have to grow all these different organs to get your ship. It's quite a fun mission, but yeah, they are time gated to a certain degree. At least I think they still are. Haven't done it for ages. But yeah, in VR, you're going to get all this 360 view. So yeah, lovely jubbly. I guess so i might have to do it i might have to do it i don't think i've ever done it in vr i've done it outside of vr never done it in vr so i think that could be pretty darn cool you've also got space encounters that came into this update and uh, how you go about finding those there's all sorts of um, ways to well 
you can usually just find them through pulsing but there's also a little doohickey that you can get that you fire up and you can find those as well but yeah awesome fun but there's all the patch notes and these patch notes exist for every single trailer so all you need to do is go over here have a look for the trailer that you really like the look of then jump on over, search the No Man's Sky website, find the, the associated patch notes, and you can get caught up with all this stuff so easily peasily. And if you have got any further problems over on YouTube, what you can do is just type in, you know, Captain Steve, um, living ship, for example, watch. Captain Steve, living ship, might have to get rid of that additional N. And there you go. You've got loads of videos by me. So living ship guide, building the living ship, solving the missions, best modules for finding. You can see my playlist there. And it actually walks you through step by step on how to get your living ship. So technically I don't have to do a full playthrough again. I have got one video there, which is a full adventure playthrough, which took me one hour to do it. There's subtle editing in there, but it's almost raw footage. And that one was only three years ago. It's probably still fairly valid, but you know what? I wouldn't mind doing this again inside of VR. So just keep an eye out on my channel and I will probably do the living ship playthrough in VR, I guess. Um, it could be a little bit warm on the old face. Hopefully I get to do it this weekend, but if it won't be this weekend, it might not be next one because I'm doing the No Man's Sky meetup. It'll be sometime soon anyway, people inside the view of us. So anyway, people, that's pretty much everything that I've got for you this episode. I mean, it's a nice, short, quick and simple episode, and hopefully it's quite quick and simple for you guys out there in the view of us. If you're new to No Man's Sky, in A, finding out what's new inside of No Man's Sky, how you go about triggering it, how you go about running it, all the perks you're going to get, and all the patches that have come there on after. And if you have got any additional questions, like I just showed, just type Captain Steve, space. You could put NMS for No Man's Sky in short, and then put what your question is. Press return, there's a likelihood I've done a video because I've got thousands of videos. I'm not joking either. I've actually got thousands of videos. I, I, I kind of do two videos a day, usually one No Man's Sky and one that's not No Man's Sky. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you'd like the fact that I'm doing one or two videos daily, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. You might not want to be notified about all of them. I mean, sometimes I do unboxing or my day out with Ivy. Uh, the channel has everything on it. It's like these icons are in the background. Vlogs, plays, and there's one behind me. Talks. Yeah, so I do a little bit of everything on this channel. I try to entertain with my life, with my gaming, and with observations and entertainment news from around the world. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. <laughs>